Good morning, everybody. I am Abby Elizabeth, and this is the Earthen Vessels YouTube channel. This channel is for Christian women, but anyone is welcome to listen. So today I have what will hopefully be a very short video uh, to address uh, a certain situation that has arisen in the comment section of this channel. Now, let me begin with stating what the purpose of this YouTube channel is. I am a sister who is older in, in years and also um, ha I have some experience in the Word of God. My primary role is to assist younger sisters in their walk with Jesus Christ, to help them know principles about how it is that a woman is godly according to the Holy Scripture. So that is the first task of the Earthen Vessels YouTube channel. The second task of the Earthen Vessels YouTube channel is what is common to all Christians, is that Jesus Christ commanded all his disciples to preach the gospel to the world, to every creature, and women are not exempt from this. So another thing that I do on this channel is to speak the truth of God's word about who God is and how it is that we are saved. Those are the two primary reasons for the Earth and Vessels YouTube channel's existence. Now, of late there has been a situation that has unfolded before me in the comment section and it does need to be addressed publicly because it has taken place publicly. Now, when I have made this channel for Christian women, I am well aware, first off, that YouTube is a public forum, and I can't forbid anyone from listening to my channel, nor would I, because anyone can benefit from hearing the things that I speak about. That said, just because it's a public forum doesn't mean that I am uh, exalting myself as a teacher over men of God. And some of you seem to have made that mistake. You think that a woman uh, speaking in, in an instructional or a guidance kind of way, and I know that was poor English, but I think you know what I mean, towards younger sisters, that if she does that in such a way that men can overhear it, she in no way um, is intending to exalt herself as a teacher over men. Now, the scripture does say that women uh, should not uh, teach or take authority over men. And some of you have um, come to me and said, uh, pretty harshly, I might add, that, you know, I'm, you know, in big trouble with God because I am teaching. But you see, I'm not teaching men. I'm not telling men what to do. I am trying uh, to the best of my ability to help my younger sisters in their walk with Jesus Christ. The other thing that I do, of course, is to preach the gospel because all disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ carry the light of salvation and they, they don't hide their light under a bushel basket or under a bed. They shine their light unto the world. Because I have a public forum, many of the things that I speak about, while particularly relevant to Christian women, also are of interest to people in the world, people who are in the religious systems. And so for that reason, I often include the gospel of Jesus Christ in my videos. Now, the gospel of Jesus Christ has some key elements to it. And one of them is, of course, that one can't obey the gospel of Jesus Christ if they don't know who Jesus Christ is or who God is. They can't obey the gospel if they are under a religious delusion and worshiping other gods. That is one thing that I have talked about frequently on my channel, not only for the benefit of my sisters in Jesus Christ, who of course know who God is and know who Jesus Christ is, but also for my sisters who are, are um, not yet saved, who, who want to serve Jesus Christ and uh, are not yet saved because they've been operating 
under the delusions perpetrated upon them by the religious authorities of this world. So I also speak to women who are desirous of knowing how to be a Christian, might even believe themselves to be a Christian, but have been misinformed about what a Christian is, how it is we become a Christian, and then how it is that we walk as a Christian after salvation. So those are the two primary audiences that I try to reach. But also, because this is a public forum, I'm aware that men often are drawn to my channel because of the various topics that I cover, such as narcissistic abuse, such as uh, feminism, Marxism, uh, things that concern the education of children, or government systems, such as the, the uh, medical system or the military system. So I have some knowledge about things in the world that many people in the world are interested in. And when they come to my channel, they often will hear on, on that um, particular video a review of who God is and how it is that we are saved. And of course, as a sister, I present those things as a sister would, not to talk down to men who might be listening, but rather to simply share with them what the Word of God says about who God is and how it is that we are saved. If I were not to do so, I would be disobedient to Jesus Christ because all disciples are commanded to let our light shine before men, to speak the gospel, to share who Jesus Christ is and how a person is saved. Anything else that we share as Christians is subordinate to that. The gospel comes first. If people don't have salvation, then helping them how to walk in godliness would be getting the cart before the horse, so to speak. So I, I first off, uh, I, pardon me, first off wanted to uh, reiterate what it is that this channel does. This channel is for the younger sisters. So if we go to the book of Timothy, chapter 2. So Timothy, I mean, ty, pardon me, Titus chapter 2, and we'll begin reading in verse 1. This is when the Apostle Paul is speaking in a letter to Titus, who was a shepherd over, over the Christian congregation. He was a pastor. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men, so the older men, the elders, be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. The aged women likewise, or the elder women likewise, that they be in behaviors becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things. Of late there have been some who have come to me, pretty harshly I might say, saying that because I'm a sister I'm forbidden to speak the gospel, and that God is going to judge me uh, harshly because I am teaching uh, principles contained in the Holy Scripture. And you see, this is a misapplication of where it says in 1 Timothy chapter 2 that a, a woman should not teach or take authority over men. All Christians are commanded to preach the gospel. Now, these days, many, many people are living under religious deception and have been misguided as to who God is, who his son is, who Jesus Christ is, and the way of salvation. And for that reason, some of them, when they hear me speaking about what the scripture says, what the Bible says about who God is, and who his son is, and how it is that we get saved. When what I'm saying bothers them, because it contradicts what they have been taught by the religious authorities of our time, that rather than to consider what I'm saying from the word of God, and, and whether what I'm saying lines up with what the word of God says, which of course is the 
uh, King James Version of the Holy Bible if you speak English. That rather than do that, then what they do is they revile me and say that God is going to punish me, you know, and, and um, all kinds of horrible things because I'm a sister who's teaching. And this is a misapplication of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 12 through 18, which I, I'm not going to review that right now. You can look it up if, if you want to know what that says. But in Matthew 28, verse 19, Jesus Christ commanded the disciples to go into all the world, teaching all nations and all creatures, all people, the gospel, and to teach them to do all the things that he had commanded. And that is something that is all Christians much must do. Now, the way a woman does this, as opposed to the way a man does it, can be very different. First off, if a woman is preaching the gospel. She does not confront people on the street and exalt herself, you know, standing up on, on a soapbox and telling people that they're going to hell with her head uncovered, dressed in men's clothing. Of course not. A, a Christian sister does not conduct herself this way. When a Christian sister preaches the gospel, she covers her head with a veil. She uses primarily the word of God to do so, and she conducts herself with grace and humility, as we just read in the book of Titus. So women are commanded to, to preach the gospel, but they are forbidden also to take authority over men or to teach men. So there is a world of difference between a woman who is speaking the truth of salvation on YouTube with her head covered in modesty and, and humility, speaking the truth of God's word so that people can find salvation. There's a world of difference between that and a woman who is standing up in a pulpit in front of uh, a, a bunch of people who think themselves to be Christians with with uh, wearing men's clothing, with their face paste painted, w decked out with jewelry, telling both men and women what the Word of God says and misleading men. There's a world of difference between those two things. And of course, a woman who does that particular thing is in disobedience, and God will judge her for that. But that's not what is happening here on this channel. First of all, this is not a church meeting. This is a public forum, and part of what I'm doing here is sharing the Word of God about who God is and how to be saved. The other thing that I'm doing is uh, speaking to, to women in general about things that apply to women specifically, such as Marxist feminist policy intended to destroy their family, such as medical systems that are intended to wound her both in her um, in her fem feminine parts in her womb by ripping out her children but also spiritually by corrupting her mind in the psychiatric system in particular that that there are things that I talk about on this channel that particularly relate to women not only Christian women but women who are in the world who are not Christians or women who believe themselves to be Christians and don't know yet the way of salvation and therefore can't obey the gospel. When I'm speaking about these things in a public forum, many women come to me with questions because they understand what I'm saying about the world and what's happening, and they have questions then about salvation. And some of these women then come out of Babylon obey the gospel of Jesus Christ, and then begin to walk uh, how a godly woman walks. And they need perhaps some guidance about what the scripture says about how a godly woman behaves, because most of these principles are no longer taught in the religious systems of our time, particularly in the West. So, for example, women who are in, say, the Baptist church don't know that a woman is commanded to cover her head when she prays or prophesies. And so someone who has heard maybe something about um, how a Christian woman would want to raise her own children and not put them in the care of the state, 
she hears that on this channel and then she hears the gospel as well she might come to this channel she might write to me and and obey the gospel find we find work together to find a man of god to baptize her in jesus name for the remission of her sins but that thereafter she might need to learn other things such as why it is that we wear a veil when we pray or prophesy how does a christian woman dress modestly why don't women wear pants how does a christian woman relate to her husband what do we do if we're in an abusive situation these kinds of things now i i did need to clarify um the purpose of this channel in order to address a certain problem that has happened in the comments forum now what i would liken this to is um uh, so this is a, a situation that sometimes occur, occurs in parenting. So you have a husband and wife, and they perhaps have a child who's maybe 10, 15, between 10 and 15 years old, maybe a little younger, maybe a little bit older. But a common thing that will happen when we are parenting children is that the father has set down some rules and some expectations for how that child is going to behave and what that child is not allowed to do. And sometimes what will happen, and it's actually quite common, is the child will approach then the mother thinking that he can or she can trick the mother into agreeing to something that would be in contradiction to what her husband has said. Now the reason I, I'm calling this to your attention is it's a kind of dynamic that happens sometimes in the comment section on my channel, where people are aware that I am a sister and that I am under the headship of the ministry of Brother Clinton at the Word Prophet YouTube channel, and he also has a website, swordofthevaliant.com. And that is something I have not made a, a secret about, and I have also told people publicly that if you have an issue with something I say in terms of doctrine, please take it up with Brother Clinton because he is in headship over this ministry. You see, the reason why is because, much like the, the young child who is doing this, that if the woman is unaware of how to handle it, what can happen is she can very quickly fall into saying and doing things that are in contradiction to what the child's father has said. So a woman who is a mother who has some wisdom when she recognizes that her child is doing this, is she simply repeats what, what her husband has told her and what her husband has told this child. And if there's argument or contention, she then just tells the child to go talk to him. Now, those of you who are familiar with this channel know that Brother Clinton is in headship over this ministry. Some of you have problems with some of the things he teaches and you want to come to my channel and ask me questions and much like the the child does with the parents trying to get me to say or do something that would be in contradiction to what he has told you now this is something that that is out of order the way that i would ask you to handle it if you have a problem with something I've said, uh, in particular about who God is or how it is we are saved, or anything else for that matter, if you have a problem with it and you're a brother or a man, either one, that rather than to, to try to trip me up in the comment section, go to Brother Clinton make a note of the title of the video and the approximate moment where I might have misspoken, call his attention to it, and he will be happy to review what you are saying and to correct me if necessary. You see, if you have a man and a woman who, who are married and they're part of a church congregation, and say a certain brother has a problem with something that the man the, the man and the woman, the couple that, that I first referred to, he has a problem with what that man has said. So say that man is an elder in the church. And one of 
the men in the congregation has a problem with something this elder has told him. If he goes to the wife and tries to get her tangled up and confused, this is out of order. Women are in subjection to men in the church, and this is not just about how women behave. It's also about how men behave. So I'm not trying to lord it over anybody or make anybody feel bad here. But of a truth, if you think I have said something in error, please take it to Brother Clinton for his review. And if I need correction, he will be happy to correct me and I will be happy to receive it. If you have a problem with something Brother Clinton has said, please don't write to me and say that you think this or that about Brother Clinton any more than if you saw a married couple in church and you had a problem with a wife's husband, so a woman's husband, you wouldn't go to her and try to undermine her relationship with her head. Now, Brother Clinton is not my husband, but he is a man of God who is in authority over this particular YouTube ministry. I would not be doing what I do if I did not have a man of God overseeing my channel. I would not feel confident at all about doing that. I need headship just like any other sister needs headship. And I don't have a husband to do that for me. So Brother Clinton does that for me because I am um, speaking to the younger sisters. Brother Clinton is the man of God who led me to the truth about salvation. And he has agreed to do this for me. And, and, and this is something that I, I've been open about in the past, and I just want to reiterate here. Now, um, there are many things that, that people might come to me about who are men. They might come to me to pray for their wife or their daughter. They might ask me about something that particularly relates uh, to, to their walk that maybe an older sister can help with. You know, it's not that men can never ask for counsel or guidance from an older sister. The Bible speaks of this, that, that the brethren treat the older women like a mother, to, to respect her like a mother. And there's nothing wrong with a younger brother coming to, to an older sister such as myself and asking something as long as he's aware that she is in subjection to a man of God and that so is he, and that not to come to her in such a way as to try to undermine that. Now, um, another thing that has happened in, in my comment section is for people to come to me with questions intended to trip me up. So these are people who, and this can happen with either men or women, where they're not asking a sincere question, but they're asking me a question in order to um, to confound me, to then argue or contend. And of a truth, I, I really want to ask people to refrain from doing this. If you uh, have a dispute with something I'm saying, that the way to deal with that would be to do so directly. So it would be to say directly, you're saying this, I don't agree with you, and this is why, and give me the scriptural reason why, rather than to, to try to um, make me look foolish but by um, tripping me up with a trick question. You know, the religious hypocrites of Jesus' time did this with our Lord Jesus Christ many times. One time in particular that I can call your attention to is when they brought before him a woman who had been caught in the act of adultery. So they wanted him to say something that then they could later accuse him with. If you're asking me questions with that kind of mentality, I, I would urge you to consider what you're doing. This is not how Christians behave. If we have a, a problem with something someone is saying, we don't, we don't address it in this way. You can either ask me directly, or if you feel like I'm in error, and you think that I'm not hearing your your um, problem properly, then you can bring that to Brother Clinton. But uh, of a truth, when we 
are talking in, in public forums, we want to be careful because all the world is watching. So when people make public comments to, to revile me, to condemn me, to, to say things about um, Brother Clinton, that this isn't the way Christians behave. Christians don't revile one another. If they have a, an issue with a, do, a doctrinal issue, they, they don't correct people in this way. We go to people in a way where, uh, humbly, saying, you know, I, I know that you're saying this, but in my view, this is what the Word of God says, and, and you know, um, let, let's talk about this. They don't do so in a way to tear someone down. Now, um, I'm just as capable of making a mistake as anyone else, although I'm careful not to, and I do try to hold as much as possible to the Word of God. I am capable of making a mistake, and I, I do not at all pretend to know everything about everything. That said, there are things that I know. I do know who God is. I know what the Scripture says. I know the means of salvation. And if you don't agree with the Word of God and what the Word of God says about um, who God is and who His Son is and the way of salvation, then the comment section is not to argue these points. Um, and I, I know that many, many people don't agree with the Scripture and what it says. But as a Christian, I hold to the Word of God and what the Word of God says. And because especially... There are many people who are yet in the religious systems that teach false doctrine that I would never uh, forbid anyone to come to this channel and hear what the Word of God says about those things. Because, of course, I would want people to hear the truth and come to Jesus Christ and be saved. So I hope this has clarified um, the matter. Brother Clinton has, I, I said this before, I'm just going to repeat it, he has a website and a YouTube channel. The links will be in the description box below. If you have um, issues with what I am teaching um, on this channel to the younger sisters, or if you have issues with the doctrine of Jesus Christ, um, please bring it up with him. If I'm incorrect about something, I'm sure that he will correct me. But if you're here just to argue and contend, if you are here to undermine uh, what I am doing on YouTube in particular, to uh, share the good news of Jesus Christ with people and the means of salvation, and also to help Christian women walk in holiness, if you have a problem with that, then um, it would be better probably for you to refrain from commenting because at this point, I, I really am uncomfortable with uh, the way some men have been behaving, and some women also, in the public comment section of my YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is a Christian ministry, and if we can't conduct ourselves the way men and women in the Church of God, so Jesus Christ's Church, the Bride of Christ, conduct ourselves, if we can't do that, then we shouldn't be speaking at all, all right? So um, please accept this uh, word with uh, the love and respect with which it's offered. I do realize that many people have no idea how it is a godly woman behaves or a godly man. They don't realize that if um, a, a man has a problem with a Christian sister that he should not try to expose her in a public forum but rather conduct himself uh, in a way that uh, does not cause the way of truth to be evil spoken of. You know, the enemy loves it when we revile one another and um, call, call each other um, false teachers and so forth. He, he loves that. And it's not, of course, that, that, that there are not such a thing as uh, false teachers. Rather, to accuse someone... Uh, and to try to tear them down publicly is a very different thing than to try to warn people about a false teacher. Sometimes that is necessary, and I've done so. But uh, we don't do that 
in such a way as to make ourselves look like the world, make ourselves look uh, like the hateful people that the Marxists try to make Christians out to be. So I hope that this has been clarified for you. And um, again, I, I mean no one any disrespect, but I'm a, a sister doing my very best to be obedient to Jesus Christ and to help my Christian sisters to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and as much as possible to help women who don't yet know the way of salvation to come out of Babylon and into the, the truth of Jesus Christ. Um, so may this word bless you today. Feel free to uh, write to me. Uh, my email is also in the description box or to comment in the comment section below. But again, the comment section is for earnest questions and sincere comments and not meant as a place where people can argue and uh, revile one another and so forth and so on. All right, then. I look forward to hearing from you.